Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 21, the show Red Sox franchise mode, and today we'll be closing out this three-game series against the Phillies. And so far, our record is 34 to uh, 13, which is pretty good. And offensively, our batting average in uh, like the batting average of the whole team is 275, which is I think is pretty good. And to to recap the series, uh, we beat. Phillies 4 0 and an 8 1 yesterday, and we are taking a 2 0 lead in the series and hoping to sweep the Philadelphia Phillies. And of course, before there's something that I always do it's like, yeah, the first maybe a minute, maybe the first 45 seconds of this video is going to be like, oh, like the slideshow or the cut scene of entering a new game, but also I would like to talk about other stuff. So, the first up, uh, well, there's only one time I want to talk about it's how my uploading. Because I did MLB 17 the show, or MLB 18 the show back then. It was a long time ago uh, when I first started this channel. But of course, I have no idea how I wanted to record the whole gameplay. I know I wanted to record. Um, I know I wanted to record uh, M M uh, the whole franchise mode, but I don't know how 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 I should do it because I know eventually I have to play all 162 games plus postseason. So I think at first. I kind of um, did like a three games like series wrap up or series highlight into one video, and on the gaming title it says like oh game one to three, but then of course I'm I have like OCD, so it's kind of uh, it doesn't look good ha like saying like oh like game one to three. I don't like the hyphen, you know what I mean, guys. So instead. This year, I have the I've decided to revive this whole Red Sox franchise mode, and uh, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Just uh, you know, just uploading single video, but of course, in terms of uploading schedule, it could be a double upload depends on the series, double, triple, or quadruple. But but in terms of the playoffs, we don't know because we still we still don't know if we are going to be in the uh, the playoffs poll. All we know is that so far my uploading schedule or the way how I upload is quite consistent, and I'm pretty sure this format that has been I have been uploading it's quite I think it's quite good in my opinion. So yeah, moving on back to this game, we have Nathan Evaldi taking the mound for us. So far, he has been an average starter for us because he, I don't think he's going to be as good as, um, he's not going to be as good as Chris Sale. But this one thing I really do like about him, it's the velocity because guarantee I can all, always get like a 99 miles per hour off him. But one downside of his gameplay, it's, his stamina because I believe he could go a little bit further by the time I use him until like the fifth or sixth inning he'll be like oh really really tired and you know what in terms of in terms of I want to go you know go distance with him and it's actually really really tough because he simply does not have the energy and as you guys all know that if you guys play this game long enough if you're pretty tired the possibility of the opponent's hitting off like a, 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 a double bait not double base a double triple or um, or home run it's higher when you have more more energy if you know what I mean so top of the fifth inning already right here we uh, are three one up I don't know what happened there just uh, for Dugo kind of uh, hesitates a little bit but thank God he was able to score and Chase Anderson by the way it's the pitcher for the Phillies and again Ivaldi uh, has been phenomenal so far five innings in only allowing one run and right there we end the bottom of the fifth top of the sixth right here Bobby Dahlback is gonna hit a tapper to first base but turns out it is going to be and now bottom of the sixth right here we have Josh Taylor oh yes the sequence it's quite I don't know if I talk about this but usually I would have um, starters who is having like mediocre game uh i will always want them to have like five innings pitched and then eventually i will either have ryan brasher for the sixth or seventh but today in today's game we have josh tater on six and also uh ryan brasher on the seventh so the way how i rotate them is be it's it's all determined by the fact that the number of left handed 
batters that we're going to face. If we have to face more left-handed batters in that particular inning, I would use Josh Taylor and vice versa. So that's how I arranged the game, which turns out to be quite, um, quite, uh, quite good because I know back. Well, not not back then, but at one point where oh, we always have set a man and we always have like a seventh inning guy and also a sixth inning guy. But instead, with Josh Taylor and Ryan Brazier added to our rotation, not rotation, relief, uh, relief depth, it's so much better just to rotate those players. And it just kind of works out for us. And uh, yeah, bottom of the ninth right here, save opportunity. And right here, Matt Barnes, it's, uh, it's going to pitch the last inning, but I don't know who's catching it. <laughs> I asked Devers to catch it because he's a much better fielder than Matt Barnes. But hey, Matt Barnes made that catch, make it more memorable to sweep the Philadelphia Phillies. And we uh, and we are 35 games in already. We've won 35 games, and this is the 48th, um, 48th episode, 48th games. We are more than a quarter away from finishing the season. So play of the game, of course, is Nathan Infaldi. Again, it is a shame where I cannot use him for an extra two innings. Instead, um, he pitched five innings for us, allowing five hits, no walk, uh, one run being earned, and he struck out four. And for Dugo, two for four. Devers, one for four. Sanders, two for four. JD Martinez, one for five. Could have been a home run in the first inning, but it was right in front of the warning track. Chase Anderson on the other side will take the L and Matt Barnes will be earning his 16 saves of the season. And we're moving on to a two-game series away uh, at Georgia, Atlanta. So I'll see you guys right there. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in a bit.